Hello and welcome back to the series where I'm trying to survive 100 hours in hardcore Minecraft. So far in this series we faced a lot of dangerous situations and once we were even down to half a heart. But today we're gonna push it even further and go face the biggest danger of them all. In today's episode of 100 hours in hardcore Minecraft. We are back. Oh god, am I happy to see this place again. And especially now with all this beautiful green grass. I'm also super proud to say that we already made it 28 hours into this challenge. And today we have some really big plans. And yeah, you probably already saw it in the intro. But we're going to slay the ender dragon. But before we go ahead to plan that, I would love it if you guys could take the time and subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really really helps me out a lot. As I said before, our main goal for this episode is to kill the ender dragon. But right now we can't even reach him. Since the ender dragon is in the end. And the only way to get into the end is through an ender portal. And to find an ender portal we need to find a stronghold. And to find a stronghold we actually need ice of ender. Which is crafted with ender pearls and blaze powder. And to get the ender pearls we need to either kill an enderman. Barter with a piglin. Or trade with a villager. And I think the most fun way is actually to explore some bastions. And try to barter with all the piglins. And then if we don't get enough ender pearls. We go and slay some endermen. And for the blaze powder, it's only actually one way to get it. We need to find a nether fortress and go slay some blazes. So we're for sure gonna have to take some trips to the nether today. And before I start doing all of this, I wanna build up a nether portal right here on the island. So we don't have to travel over to the next one all the time. And I think this wall would actually be the perfect place to put it. And I think a three wide is uh, probably gonna fit the best in here. Let's decorate it a little bit as well. Not quite there yet. Still something missing. that's better i like what this became but now i think it's time to put on our golden boots and jump straight into the nether and go get those eyes of enders and our luck was huge we found the bastion instantly decided to pillar up to start from the top and work our way down Pretty soon we found the first golden block, but that angered the piglins. But luckily we had this little hole we could snipe them from. After picking up quite a bit of gold, we decided to throw it in and let the piglins start to barter. Then went to search for more. The brutlings we could trick them into the lava. And the gold was ours. But there was also some really tricky situations. But we really needed all the gold from the bastion to trade for the pearls. There were many times I thought this is gonna be my last. After filling up our inventory, it was time to create an extra storage outside the best. And when we came back after storing, we found our first ender pearls, four of them as well, which is amazing. Oh! I dropped my pickaxe. Oh! Why do I always do these things? But then I remembered, netherite don't burn, so I can splash myself with a potion and jump into the lava and pick it up. In 
quickly it was restored. And after slaying some more foes, it was time to take the treasure. After that I tried to gather up more piglins, but I kinda got myself into a pretty bad hole. But I made it out to live. But only seconds later, we're so close to dying that it's insane. I was down to one single heart. And if I hadn't thrown that gold in just that second, I would have been dead. As a reward, I got some extra ender pearls. Now I was up to seven, and I only need 12. After killing off the last enemies in the bastion, I headed out to find the ender pearls on the way instead. And from killing an enderman, and trading away the lost gold I had and picking up some extra outside blocks and throwing them in again I got the lost ender pearls after that I took off because I knew I still needed a blaze powder to be able to make them into ice of ender I also made sure to pick up some extra along the way and I came across another bastion I went straight in and checked it out and started fighting with a brute. It was a tough game because the brute got me down really quick but I slayed him and behind him was a second one that was only one hit away from killing me. So I pushed and pushed and pushed and in the end I came out the victor but it was too close to death. I was one punch away so I needed to play it more safe. So I instead ran around the place and built up to the gold pillar, took the gold and headed away to find another fortress. And there we had it, the big fortress. The only thing we had to do in here was to kill some blazes and get their rods. Soon I found a spawner and knew it was time to drink my potion that would make me immune to fire and go and slay away. Even though I were immune to the fire, my armor weren't. And soon it snapped. But there were just a few enemies left to kill before I had all my blaze rods. And literally seconds after, I looted the last one. And on the way out they even killed a wither skeleton and took his head with us as a trophy. And since we had everything we needed, it was time to head back home. But this time we are gonna make a good path so we can find this place easier. Guys, we made it through. We have all the blaze rods we need and all the ender pearls. So let's not drag it out, let's craft up this ice of ender and then start searching for the stronghold. Wow, was that the quickest stronghold ever. I found the portal room immediately. But before jumping in, I decided to set up a portal and link it to the base. So I needed to head back to grab some stuff to be able to fight the dragon.
All right, guys, we have everything we need to go and fight the dragon, the biggest danger of them all, and see if we can make it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're gonna destroy him. Oh, sorry, I forgot you were here. I was just cleaning up the last of the experience. Oh, it feels so nice to finally have killed the dragon and to have access to the end. But before we leave the end, I really want to go get one thing. And I am pretty sure you know what it is. Of course, it's the lighter I'm gonna get. I'm looking forward so much to be able to fly above our island and see it from above. Let's also make sure that we mark our way so we can find our way back without problems. These uh, end islands can be quite tricky to navigate around. Just five minutes in and we already found an end city. Let's hope it has a ship. Unfortunately, it does not have a ship. But there's one end city right next to it, to the right. Let's hope that one has a ship. But at least this one has some diamond gear and some gold for us. Unfortunately, it seems like this one don't have a ship as well. But there's another one next to this one as well. But this one don't have a ship as well. So I guess we have a couple of thousand more blocks to travel. Woohoo! After running for about 5 billion blocks, I remembered I could turn up the render distance and just pillar up and maybe I would see one. But of course I didn't. I only saw the ones I've already visited. So we kept on running. Until... This happened! And of course I went in and uh, throw my sword at the shark. But guys, look at this. We have it. We have their wings. We finally got them. Oh my god, what a game changer. And also we collected all of this loot here in the end. So much diamond gear. A lot of shulker shells and three elytras. I think for sure it's time to fly home now. And we're finally back to the... What is that? Oh my god. There's one literally right next to where we started. And we walked 7,000 blocks to find ours. 7,000! We could have walked 500! 
Let's get out of here. Wow, guys, the amount of progress we did today. We killed the dragon, we got our elytra. Maybe we didn't do too much on the island, but I'm super happy about this episode anyways. And if you liked it as well, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you liked the most about this episode. And if you haven't seen the previous episodes in this series, I will put them up at the end screen. Other than that, I think it's time to say bye!